Hi my friends, welcome to another video. Yes, I am on the video. Um, I need to show you guys McTee Swaddle. I have finished her. It is October 23rd. It took me 23 days. Yes, what is wrong with Ramy? We don't know. Um, I'm going to turn my phone around so that you can see her. It's the only way I can film her. <laughs> uh, and hopefully I can film her so that you can see her. So this is her. She turned out absolutely amazing. I'm just trying to pan over it here and hopefully you guys get a good view of her. Look at her. Isn't she amazing? Her feathers. This is the Lady of the Dead. Okay, let me put you up on the stand and see. I'll do a once over here. That was your close up. Go to my shorts. Do me a favor, please. I worked really hard on my shorts. Go over to my short and take a look at her with some music, which puts a whole different spin on her. So this is her. Well, I guess that doesn't help. This is her. She is 25.6 by 35.8. Yes, she is big. She is by no means the largest painting I have done, but she is big. She, we, I had problems. I had problems up here in the corner. Um, in this, I, I can't do this without bumping you. I swear to God, let me turn it this way. Up here in this corner with all of the three tens, the drills were just not fitting right. Um, I still see some that are, I need to push down. So I do need to do that. I haven't done that yet. Um, but the sides in that upper corner, everything seemed to go fine. The only real issue that I had was it seemed like every color had, um, Every jar, every color had mixed drills in with it, whether it be round drill, this is a square painting, whether it be round drills, um, A, B drills, completely separate color drills. It was really weird, you guys. Like, I know this is a really old canvas. Um, I don't know how old of a canvas this is. I know they don't sell this anymore. By the way, if you're looking for this painting, it is still for sale on another, on another site just look her up, McTee Swaddle, her name will be, I will put her name in the title of this video and you can look her up if you'd like to do her. She's just amazing, but there is another company that sells this. I don't know if it's the same size and I don't know if they're licensed. Um, I don't know anything about the company. I just noticed that they do sell it because somebody was like, saying, oh, I really wish that I had that painting and they don't have it at Diamond Art Club anymore. So I, I always feel really bad when that happens to somebody because I know what it's like when you're looking for a painting and um, you can't find it. So yeah, she's beautiful. Let me move this back a little bit so I can pull her down and I'm not bumping you. There she is. Look at her. Why I would not mess with this lady. So the legend has it that she was born as an infant. Well, obviously she was born as an infant. My God, Remy. <laughs> That's actually really funny. Um, that when she was born as an infant, she was flayed open. You can see how she's laid open right here and her jaw was a gape to swallow the stars so this goes back to Aztec traditions way 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 back um yeah so anyway I wanted to take the time to really go over that painting with you guys 
please, please do me a favor and go over to my shorts. Just click on my shorts. Just, you're already on my page. Just click on my shorts and I'm gonna begin. And um, check out the video I did of her. It's flipping metal as hell. It's really cool, go check it out. Okay, just realized I have to put these in order. Yay! Oh wait, no, are they? No, they're not in order. Why would they be in order? Um, I don't know. Wait, this is nine, okay. Seven. Maybe there's not a, oh, where's the legend? There is an eight, it's the 310. Ooh, I can look at this legend and kind of. Okay, and then the next one is 317. Oh, but they're not in order that way either. All right, just gonna sit here and put them in order. How are you guys doing? Hmm? Hmm, hmm, hmm? How you doing? I, I just, this is the only way I'm gonna be able to do this. Um, well, this isn't going to help me. <laughs> like I've never kitted down before. Okay. Um, well, the numbers are on here. Where? It is uh, late in the evening for me. Yes, it is. Well, not really, but okay, nine. Where's 10? I'm looking for number 10, 14, 18. Let's do the teens here. Here it is 10, um, 11. I cannot believe that it took me. Can you guys believe it took me that long? You guys know me, so <laughs> you're probably like, what were you doing? You guys, I just didn't have as much time to diamond paint this month. I just, I just didn't. Where's, which one's number 12? Oh, the letter R. Well, that would have helped me. Um, okay. I just didn't have as much time as I wanted to. Um, things came up and um, like I said in another video, I feel really bad because I failed Mushy's challenge. Um, I just, there was no way I was gonna be able to do this and complete her challenge. Um, and it was throwing me off. It was just, I can't do more than one painting at a time. I don't know how you guys do it. I'm just blown away. Good for you guys. Kudos, 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 kudos to you all. Seriously, good job. I just, I can't do it. My brain doesn't work like that. I have to do one thing at a time, complete that, and then move on to the next task. Um, I've kind of always been like that, I think. Um, I've kind of always been like that, where it's like I just, it's like I'm one thing, you know, one thing at a time. Okay, 31 is the letter X. Where's the letter X? Here it is. And then the U-turn. And then the pill. Okay, and then letter W. Yeah, W. Remember that? W. W. Um, and then the two dots. And then the arrow, well, A arrow. Do I have it out? Yes. Arrow. And then another arrow. And then this symbol and the slash. I just saw the slash. And the letter Y. The letter 
N, that weird symbol. Where is that right here? Oof, you guys, I'm so cold. I am, I have been cold all day. I am looking forward to putting my pajamas on after this and getting underneath a blanket with cocoa and having some dinner. Okay, there we go. And then there's, these are the extra ones down here. What do we have first? Oh, an AB, I can't do that. Okay, I don't keep ABs in here. Um, and there's two of them. Okay, so 154, perfect. And there's this one, we're just a little bit more. So yeah, I just, I can't do, um, I need to like, wh whenever I'm doing anything really, it's like, I need to, I need to focus on like the one thing. It's weird though, cause I'm a really good multitasker. And I know some people argue that and say there is no such thing because it's impossible to multitask. Well, I think a lot of people would disagree with that, but I'm a really good multitasker. I was a early childhood education teacher for 20 20 plus years, trust me, when I say I can multitask, you know, 23 to five year olds. So yeah, I can multitask, but for some reason I can't, um, I don't have this color. I don't have 160. Crazy. I was expecting to have all of these colors. Yeah, so if I can multitask a classroom of 23 to five year olds with of course some assistance, I think I can flip in, cause you know, I had to manage my assistants as well. <laughs> Being the lead teacher, you have to do everything, so. I really loved that job. That was a really great job. It was so hard though. It was so hard. And I remember, I remember the parents would always say, I don't know how you do it. I just don't know how you have the patience. And I, 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 I said the same thing to all of the parents that said that to me. I said the same thing. I said, I actually don't have a lot of patience, but what I, is this a different color? But what I do have is understanding. And there's a huge difference because if you understand the situation and you understand what's going on, you know, you're able to help children and facilitate, you know, their emotions, help, help them work through you know, what they're feeling and what they're dealing with at the moment and, um, and, and facilitate that. So to me, it was just, you know, understanding children and, um, yeah, I, I love that job. I have so many stories about being a teacher, so many stories. Um, I told you guys, you guys just saw a video where I was talking about my abusive dad and how he had turned my aunts against me and my girlfriend who does my hair, her mother-in-law. If you haven't seen this video, <laughs> go back. Anyway, I was talking about that and how her mother-in-law knew my aunt and told her to stay away from me because I was evil. So I've known my girlfriend for going on 30 years, probably 30 years now. And her children were both my students. So when her kids were growing up, so I had kids first. I knew her way before we had kids, but I had children first. And then, um, yeah, both of her children, she has two girls. They were both my students at different times. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? So it's so funny because every time I see her, if we run into each other at the store or something and her 
her daughters are with her. Oh, look at what a shame I messed up 318. That sucks. She still says, look, it's Miss Rainey. <laughs> her daughters are teenagers. I mean, like driving age, you know, like, I don't know where the time went, but okay. That's the last bag of 318 for this binder. So yeah, that's kind of cool that I had her children for, that's why she told her mother-in-law, she was just like, um, I don't think Granny's evil. Oops, I missed 317. She's like, no, you just don't know her. Oh, it's just too full, I see. It's a long story, but my dad turned my aunts against me. It's a whole, it's a whole story if you go back. I think it's the, I'm kidding down, the Black Magic Edition of paint gems and I talk about it um, in um, what's happening I don't have a 407 well that's oh the bags already in here oh okay I must have used them all on the heaven and earth design Yeah, I talk about all, my my dad's trying to pull something legal on us and stuff, and I talk about the whole thing in the, um, in that video, so. Okay, four, oh yeah, too, too much, too much, 451. So what are you guys working on? Sorry, I bumped you. What are you guys working on? Um, it's the 23rd of October. Wow, I had a lot of that left. So I have to finish the Joker that I did not finish for Moshi's challenge. I need to finish that. And I am so not even close to being like, started on it so um we'll see how that goes we will see how that goes oh this one has mixed colors in it yikes it's a really heavy um a confetti heavy piece too so I want to do that and then I have an off canvas piece that I want to do yeah I don't do too many of those so um, I did an unboxing of it a while back in one of my Timu hauls, so I'd like to do that for October, and then I think that's going to be it, so, for October. Oh my gosh, this is horrid, horrid color mixing. Who's in charge of this binder? Too late now. Too late. It's too late. Oh, that's, that's hideous. I'm being so much more careful now to not mix my drills. So, yeah. I really need to, I bought some drills. I really need to go through them and get the rest of them done for my heaven and earth design. Um... get them squared away and then send whatever I need to send to my girlfriend. Um, I don't, I need to relook at the, so the pattern that we're doing, it's on paper. Yeah, it's on paper, grayscale, black and white, baby, black and white. And It occurred to me, so like the symbols that are on the la the labels, I think it's going to be nearly impossible for me to figure out how to, um, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't say that, but I don't remember there being any letter letters or numbers. I could be completely wrong right now, but I don't remember that. I just remember there being symbols. And if that's the case, you guys, it is gonna be 
it's it's gonna be um, not enjoyable to do it from what I can tell because I think the labels are also no aren't the labels colored the labels are colored yeah they're colored with the but it won't matter because the pattern isn't colored that's right so it doesn't matter <gasps> Ugh. I'm gonna have a highlighter pen and I'm just gonna use a highlighter to like mark off the squares that I've, I don't know what to do. Ugh. I showed it in one of my videos, but um, yeah, I don't, I, this, uh, I don't know. We shall see, we shall see. Never know until you try it, right? So. Okay, how many colors should this have? Only 49. It had 20 bags of 310. Hmm, how many did I end up having left over? Let's take a look at my bag. So I have, they gave me, th oh, they gave me three, I have three extra bags of 310. No, <laughs> just say no to 310. Okay, I think we're on the next binder. We are. We are, we are, we are. On to the next binder. I asked everybody in, in my Facebook group what their favorite condiment is. And I said mine was mayonnaise. And literally everybody so far has said mayonnaise. Y'all are my people. For real. <laughs> I thought for sure people were going to be like, gross, mayonnaise is gross. <laughs> so far everybody said mayonnaise. Oh, okay. It's Wednesday. By Friday, the voting will be done. It will be shut down for November for Paint Gem. Please go to that video. It's mystery or windows, mystery or windows. Please go vote. Go vote on that so that I can have a winner. I need a winner. And it's, it's been like back and forth. It's been really weird. It's like it's like one of them will start to win and I'm like, oh, okay, well, it's definitely gonna be this one. And then nope, this one comes, the other one comes up and I'm like, oh no, this one's definitely gonna win. And then it ties and I'm like, oh shoot. <laughs> we need a winner. We need a, a, a clear winner here. This is 8.38. It's so funny. I thought I ran, ran out of two colors on here because I wasn't looking down here at the drills I had. <laughs> mm. Oh, shoot. Oh, I need to go back. I need to go back. Oh, is it in the other binder? It is. Because this one, oh, and that one, okay. Seven, seven, nine. Okay. Got these extra bot. I forget about these extra bottles down at the bottom for some reason. So I'm not going to get political or anything like that, but did everybody go vote? I voted today. So make sure you go out and vote for whoever you're voting for. I just, I feel like this is like a really important like election for some reason. This baggie came from nowhere. Um, 814, so back here. What do I mean by I feel like it's a very, 
bottle's empty. I'm trying to put drills away. Good one. What I mean by I feel like this election is really important. I don't know. I just, it just feels like it. It just, it just, I don't know. It just feels like, I think it feels like this every time. It's just, um, it's just because it's been, you know, it, because the elections are four years apart, it's like you, you tend to forget. It's like having a baby, you forget about the labor pains. You're like, well, it was bad, but was it really that bad? Yes, it was. But you can't remember. <laughs> yeah. That's how that's how we should think of the elections. You mean birth? If you know, you know. Oh, this does look. Mm, yeah, maybe they are the same. Like I said, this was an older kit. I would have to go on Diamond Art Club's website to see when I purchased this kit. Um, it's just been, you know, like in my stash. I don't know what to do for November for my large kit. I haven't even had time to think about it. Um, I have a couple of contenders. Actually, I'm kind of like... I'm either gonna go seasonal or I'm just gonna go rogue and do whatever I want. Well, it would be it would be whatever I wanted either way, but do you know what I'm saying? Like I would either, I don't know, I haven't decided if I wanna do a seasonal one. I have one, if you guys have been watching my, um, my entire stash videos, Thank you so much. I hope you're enjoying them. And I also hope you enjoyed my, um, all of the diamond paintings I've ever done video. That was a really good video, but there is one, I think I might've already shown it called the four crows of the apocalypse. And it is a skeleton, a skeleton. It is a scarecrow. Um, and there's four crows and it's like a field. And that kind of says November to me. So that would be, you know, a November-esque painting. So maybe I could do that. Do I want to do it? I don't know. That's the thing. I don't... I'm not like, oh, I really want to do this painting. Do you know what I mean? I'm just kind of not in the mood for it right now. I'm kind of in the mood for something really bright and colorful. I think it's because I just finished doing this painting and this painting is not, um, wow, I used all these too. This painting is really dark. I mean, it's on so many levels, on so many levels. The, the content is, dark. you know, the image is dark. The colors are dark. And I think that's why I'm feeling like I want to do like a, um, kind of like a colorful one. Hmm. Hmm. I say, hmm. I just might, I think I have something in mind. I will surprise you guys. How about that? I will surprise you. I'll surprise myself too. <laughs> No, no, no. Oh, these stickers. Sometimes they do not want to stick to these baggies. I don't know why. Sometimes there's a problem and other times there's not. Are you guys starting to think, well, no, let's not get ahead of ourselves. It's not even Halloween yet. <laughs> Never mind. I don't want to be one of those people. Halloween's coming. It is almost here. Wow. There's a lot of these I don't have. Oh, I did have it. I used it all. Okay. I can't remember the name 
of the heaven and earth design that I'm doing right now. Um, hmm. I can't remember, but yeah, I took the drills out of here. Right after this, I'm going to go in there and look at that storage container and take a look at those symbols. Um, I'm wondering if there's something I can do to maybe enhance them or make it easier somehow to see, you know, the symbols. And maybe it won't be hard to see. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I've never done one before and I've never seen anybody do one from paper. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't even imagine trying to do a whip and chat with it because of the paper aspect of it. Put some hair on here. Um, the paper aspect of it is just going to be a nightmare to try to deal with. Where, where is that hair? Okay, 30, 41. I don't have that. Here we go. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, mm, I don't know. And then like putting all of the panels together. Um, what do I do? Just tape them together like on the back? I guess that's what you would do. You would just tape the panels on the back together. I don't think I'm going to do that until I'm completely done with the entire painting. Oh man, I have to be so careful because I really don't know what I'm doing. So 3371, oh, that one's too full. Bummer, 3685. Okay. It has been so cold on our morning walks, you guys. It's been in the 40s. It's cold. Coco was like, mm -mm. I even had her jacket on her this morning. She has a fleece jacket. And she was like, mm -mm. I no. <laughs> Uh-uh, we had to keep convincing her to like go. Like, we, come on, you know, let's go. And she just was like, what are you guys, crazy? You got me out here in this 47 degree weather today when I could be under a blanket on the couch? Are you insane? I've already been ordering Christmas presents. I've gotten quite a few Christmas presents already. I know I probably shouldn't talk about Christmas, but I've been doing Christmas shopping. I want to do it early. I just, I just want to get it done early. And I have such a hard time buying for my daughter's boyfriend. Um, He's a drummer and I don't know anything about that kind of stuff. So I don't buy him anything related to it because like, is he going to like it? Like, is this even something that he would use? Yeah, I could ask my daughter, but she probably <laughs> wouldn't know either. Um, so yeah. Um, I do find things, but it's just hard to buy. I bought Brennan something really cool. And I'm not gonna tell you because he might watch this video. Brennan, if you're watching, you're not gonna find out any information from mom about what I'm getting you for Christmas. So don't even bother. <clears throat> 3740, yeah. What are we doing this weekend? There's something that we're doing this weekend and I completely have spaced it out of my brain. I 
have no idea. My husband has tomorrow off, which is really cool. It's his flex day. So yeah, so he's got tomorrow off. Awesome possum. 3772. I am, oh, and I am on day eight of my second go around on my 75 soft. You guys, tomorrow. So I've lost 40 pounds. 40. And tomorrow I'm scheduled to be down another pound. So. Somebody asked me, they're like, well, how do you know you're going to be down another pound? Like, how do you know that? Um, which is a really good question because I didn't think about it before. And I'm like, oh, I guess if I heard somebody say that, I'd be like, well, how, how would you possibly know that you, the next day you're going to be down another pound? But that, like, that's impossible. What are you like a, my, a psychic? Yeah, I'm psychic. I'm kidding. I'm not. Um, when I'm, oh. What I mean by that is, so the scale, most scales when they weigh you, it's like, um, I'll just tell you, I'm 157.0 right now. <laughs> I'm 157.0. So I know that tomorrow I'm going to be 156 point something. So technically I'm not going to be down a pound, but I'm, I'm down another pound. If you, um, if you get my means, I'm down another pound because that's the way I look at it. Cause it's like, well, I'm, I'm now I'm, I'm not 157 anymore. I'm, I'm in the, I'm 156 something. So that's how I know. And, and it's consistent. I don't have fluctuations the other way with my weight. So it's like, it's, It'll go down. It it always goes down. It always goes down. I'm telling y'all, you need to join me. Join me. I'm not gonna lie, it's not fun. You will not like it. You will you will not like it. But it is <laughs> I mean, I'm doing it. I'm doing it over. I'm doing it again. Oh, too many. I'm doing it over. So obviously, it's not that bad, right? What's the worst that could happen? What do you have to lose besides weight? Right. I mean, 45 minutes of exercise, that's really, that doesn't take up much of your day. It's, it's honestly, for me, it's the reading. <laughs> as much college as I did. It's the reading. I don't want to read. I'm just not a reader anymore. I used to be, I used to be an avid reader. I loved to read. I've read so many books. I love to read, I, or I, I used to love to read, but I just, I don't, I don't like it anymore. I don't, I, I don't know why. I love the feel of a book. I like, like, if I'm going to read, it's definitely, it has to be like in my hand, not like a Kindle or anything like that. My rings are all falling off and I'm so mad because this is one of my favorite rings and it literally, it's like, look at, like, I'm scared it's going to fall off. Does it fit on my thumb? Oh, it doesn't even go over my knuckle. Wonderful. Does it fit on my middle finger? No, okay, that's good because, that's good because maybe this finger will get down in size. I don't know. I don't know what, how much more weight I can lose on my hands. Probably way more than I think, right? I don't know. Um. 3854, but I don't like to read. So reading's kind of the hardest part for me. When I first started, the water was the hardest part for me. And then that became just like super easy. Um, to the point where it was like, 
I would drink all my water for the day and then I would be like, dang man, I'm thirsty. And it would be really late at night and I wouldn't want to drink any more water because I wouldn't want to have to get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. But I legitimately was thirsty. The more water you drink, the, the thirstier you become and the more um, you crave water. True story, I swear to you, but it's, I swear. You just crave water. I will say though, we are on a well and we are on an artesian well. You guys, we have the best water. When people come over, they're just like, oh my God, your water is so good. It, cause there's no chlorine, there's no fluoride, there's no, it, it literally comes, there is no filter. Well, I mean, there is, but there's not like a filter filter. I forgot this one, 3371. It literally comes directly out of the ground. It's an artesian well, 3371. And it is the, you guys, it's the best tasting water. Oh yeah, that's the one that I said. Okay, so that's, and then right, 310. Okay, so yeah, it's really good water. It's uh, hard water though, so it, it is hard to um, clean bathrooms and stuff like that, which is really irritating. Oh, I spilled my drills. So yeah, it, it's hard to like clean the bathrooms or, you know, um, like I've noticed it um, mars glassware and stuff like that from the dishwasher. So, um, okay. Oh, that's just part of that drill. So it is hard water, but it's so good. We actually have a spring that comes up in the goat pen um, that's always Coming, the water's always coming out of the ground. It's on this knoll. It's right at the top. I'm, I kid you not, it's right at the top of this knoll. And the water slowly comes out from the top of it and trickles down into this little tiny like stream. And so we have a pond <clears throat> that's in the goat yard. And um, we get all kinds of frogs. We get sometimes, oh, this is a 6,000. Hmm, what do we do with that? I don't know, let's see. Do any of these match these? So I have three fairy dust. This is all going to be redone. I have three fairy dust, none of which match these two fairy dust. And then I have a 6,000. So I'm going to have to make my own label for this, for this binder. Um, all of these are going to be taken out. Oh, I'm, I'm redoing my whole thing, you guys. Yeah, it's a whole mess. I'm, I need to do something with my special drills. I have fairy dust, I have glitter, and I have ABs. So yeah, I'm going to have to redo those. I will be doing a video on that for sure if I come up with a solution. <laughs> if I come up with a solution, we'll all know together. How about that? All right, you guys, we have kitted down Mickey Swaddle. She was a joy to do. Well, not really. Here she is again. She actually wasn't. <laughs> she was really hard to do. So here she is. Please go over to my short. I'm begging you to go look at my short. You will not be disappointed. You will not be disappointed by my short. All right, you guys. Love you so much. Talk to you soon. Loves.